we've just arrived at Conway Beach, Big Four Caravan Park. Really looking forward to our stay here. We're going to stay for a few weeks. We have friends here. Uh, we've got George's Cafe, which we're really looking forward to having a meal in. And there's the beach. Conway Beach is roughly around 25 to 30 minute drive from either Airlie Beach or Proserpine. It's located on the mouth of the Proserpine River and it's absolutely fantastic for fishing. You'll get to see some big crocs in this episode down the Proserpine River with Mark and Kevin when they went fishing and boy just wait until you see what their boat ran over. Mark gets a really good lesson on how to throw a cast net out and we also saw how to fillet a fish, Kev style. So stick around if you've never been to Conway Beach before, it is 100% worth a visit. There is so much to do and the fishing is out of this world. Winter is one of the busiest times at this caravan park, so do get in and book early if you're thinking of going there in the winter months. The nomads always venture north at this time of the year and they can stay for several months at a time. If you have a dog, they're most welcome. We saw a few dogs, they're all well behaved and there are some strict rules to ensure all guests are safe and happy. Kids and families have a fantastic time riding on the Conway Beach Express. This is a little train that goes around the park at least twice a day. You'll love having a meal in George's Diner. You can enjoy an icy cold milkshake, spider, coffee, burger or a salad in air conditioned comfort. He's <laughs> a big sucker though, look at that. Amongst the reeds here. Look at that, out sunning himself. Look at the size of this big fella in here. Just hiding in there. Probably a good four metres, I reckon. You want to sneak up on a croc. Yeah, a lot more trees and snags up here. We had to slow down quite a bit just so that. Um, rip the crop out of the engine. Um, that would be interesting. We're cutting here. There's a crop just tucked away behind the tree to his mouth open. Right now they're staring him down. He's looking right at us. Seems to get a couple of photos on him as well. Nice big sucker. Oh look at the baby one on the log. See all the baby ones around the edges? Just yeah. the log, there's a baby one. Yeah there is. That's mum and all the family. That's mum and the family in there. You got that mouth wide open. <laughs> Saw the baby take off. I don't know how close to get to him. Oh, I don't want to go any closer. In case he jumps here on me. <laughs> like I'm the closest one. Being my old croc in here. Oh, coming down to say good day. Good morning, fellas. Mm. They get in that grey water and they just disappear. Probably right underneath us now. If you lived right up in Crosserpine on these creeks, <laughs> you'd have to have a crop proof fence with you. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's just running over his rail. Maybe he's got plenty of line on. Yeah. <laughs> Shark. Yeah. Get a mullet on that. Just in case. Oh, it's going under the boat. Operating care. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. You want to lead, huh? What have we got here? Can't see. Oh, I've got something wrong. Shovel, 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 no shark. Oh, it's close. Yeah. Cooperating kid. Got him all too. 
big sucker. what we hit. Yeah, small shark. He's not real well. Yeah. Underneath us. There's a little shark behind us. We uh, hit him at speed. He's, he's sort of recovering, but he jumped right up out of the water. We make contact. The tide literally goes out so far at Conway Beach that you need a tractor to tow your boat out to the water's edge to launch it. Normally at high tide, we'd be fishing for whiting and flathead off these sand shallows, but it's low tide, that's our chance to get the boat out. Across the beach, on the tractor, and this is where we're launching. You can see the sand flats here, they get about a kilometer out to sea. The beach is way back over there in the distance. Look at this, water is dead time. Not a ripple to be seen. And we're going out to what's called the Cape. You can see some islands up there in the distance and over to the left, the furthest point. That's Cape Conway. And we're going to be fishing out off there in between the islands somewhere today. So hopefully some bigger game type fish and opportunities so it's been the best day in a month we've been here just on four weeks now this is the, the best day we've had to go fishing we delivered never taken the tractor back and kevin and i getting organized so how big an engine to get on the back of this They're disappearing around the corner. It's probably about five, six hundred meters back up to the beach. <laughs> See how deep would the channel be out here? This oh, oh, here it, it varies from, from about that to... <laughs> okay. You've got to know where you're going. Yeah, obviously. to follow these channel markers and keep them on to our left. It's very shallow here. We've got about two k's before we can turn left. Uh, 
have to get it away too when it's on the beach, it just sits there, you know. Yeah. Jesus Point is one of the more recognised local fishing spots where it's quite abundant. Finally got out to the further reef and we're getting into some really good sweet lip now. You want to feed the fish? You want it? I think we'll get better with this pro bait. Yeah, I don't have to bother with them. So grey sweet lip, heavy throwing it back in, Neb was on to his first fish in five minutes, awesome, and I've got the fish of the day here, little cod, <laughs> yeah, what a spotted cod is that what you call them? Wine netting. Yeah, I think that's what you call them, isn't it? Wine netting cod. Yeah, well he's going back in as well. Black spotted tough fish, mm -hmm. um, Indonesian snapper, uh -huh. grassy sweet lip, and estuary cod. Wow, okay. Lessons from Kevy. Mm -hmm. So you basically all you're doing is just following the bones around. pin bones, you cut through them. Mm -hmm. Just go around the backbone. There's not much left on. No, uh, there's just a frame. Normally, normally, yeah. I'll make good crab bait. 
Basically sitting on top now. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. There's a new figure here. Thanks so much for coming along with us on this fantastic journey at Conway Beach. We simply can't wait to show you part two of this episode. We have so much more in store for you. So until then, Mark and I wish you well, stay safe, and we'll see you then.